Hey you guys, so I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for everybody that tuned in, gave me feedback, criticism, like the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe below and like the, like the video. And go ahead and turn on your notifications so that you know when I post another video. So as you guys can see by the title below, everybody's wanting to know, are we pregnant? Have we started on our pregnancy journey? What is going on? Um, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. And this is a really hard topic for me to talk about, you guys, because it is such an emotional... Oh, you guys can see my bra. Sorry. So it's such an emotional journey. Um, it's really like one of the most spiritual things I've done um, with my wife. It makes you so much closer because you realize that this is the only experience you will have with your partner and your spouse. Um, and it means so much in a same-sex relationship. So it's really near and dear to my heart and I'm really excited about this journey, but it definitely, for anybody that's gonna go through this journey, be as strong mentally and spiritually to God as you can be, um, your spouse, and you need to be like this. If you are not, it may cause a wedge between your marriage or your relationship. Um, it can pit you against one another. Um, you need that support system and your partner and spouse to be there with you. It is a not easy journey, let me say that. So if I cry, during the video then you guys just oh well because it's it's a very serious thing and it is very 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 near and dear to my heart okay you guys so starting out this process is just so overwhelming it's just so many parts to it that when you go into it and you think about it you're just like okay get some sperm put it in me and keep going you guys it's tmi throughout this video so just letting you know that okay so it doesn't work that way it is so many little things that you don't even think about that you're like oh my gosh like who knew it was this much to have a damn baby it's crazy okay so you guys, one of our really, really, really good friends um, recommended us to the ART Facility Clinic here in Birmingham. And they use the clinic just to like regulate their period so then they can get pregnant and it worked for them. They had a beautiful, beautiful baby boy. Um, he is like one and some change, like one and a half at this point. Oh, he's so cute. Um, so we were like, yeah, of course, why wouldn't we? Cause we had no idea where to even start. Okay, so we get there and they ask you for your insurance and we have Blue Cross Blue Shield, Premier, Premier, Premium, whatever. Um, like the better, I guess, Blue Cross, but you pay more out of pocket but when you go to the doctor you pay less so it worked out really well in this case you guys if you don't have really good insurance you better save up like you guys may be wondering why i have on a boy shirt olivia likes these kind of henleys and this is actually her shirt she's at work for 24 hours and i miss her so i put this shirt on and to like give me like motivation to talk about it because it's really difficult so i feel like she's like so, side note. Okay, so you fill out your paperwork like you would go to any new doctor. And they, like, have these beautiful smiles on their face. And they give you this beautiful, beautiful folder. But this little adorable baby. And it's just a really plain blue folder. Um, as you guys can see, I have, like, a whole bunch of paperwork in here. Um, but they give you that folder. And it's, like, packets on packets and packets of stuff and information. So... They run your insurance and then they call you back and you get to meet your doctor. Um, our doctor was super, super nice. Um, I've actually like seen her in the building. She's really, really nice. So she goes over like the treatment plan and you know the different types of um, ways you can conceive as a same sex couple. And so she first told us about IVF. And when she said it costs over $16,000, we were like, oh shit, we don't have it. Like we don't have 16 grand, let me tell you that right now. We don't have it in savings, we don't have it in checkings, we don't have it on nothing. So like, we, we can't do that. We, we What's the next option, sweetheart? So she laughed and was like, there's a thing called IUI insemination. So we're like, okay, what's the cost? And it's way less costly. So we were like, yes, girl, 
that that's for us okay we're gonna try that one first and then if we got to circle back then we're gonna do IVF but that's the last resort okay so um she just explained what it is basically um, IUI is you get donor sperm from a sperm bank or from a known person, like somebody you know, and they come in, they use this long syringe, it's like this long, and then they put the sperm in there and they shoot it into your cervix. So we were like, okay, that sounds good, that sounds simple, cool. And so she gave us a roundabout price. So I'm like, that roundabout was still okay. So I'm like, okay, girl. So next, they take me into the, op like, not operating room, but like the ultrasound room. If any of you guys have children, I know somebody like where you see the baby. So they're looking to see like how many am I ovulating? How many follicles am I producing? Okay, you guys. So a follicle, I have pictures. These are my pictures. As you guys can see, I have like notes, like follicle, check, you guys can see. So, um, I'm gonna cover up my social so you guys don't steal my identity. Okay, you guys, so that's what it looks like. This is a follicle, and my doctor calls them like chocolate chips. That's what they're looking for. And then, as you guys can see, like they measured it, like you guys can see, maybe, maybe see, maybe not. Um, but they like measure it to see if it's a certain size because if it's not a certain size, they have to put you on medication and things like that. So they were like, do you have your sperm? Cause it's perfect. Like you're ready to go. And we're like, lady, this is our first appointment. Like, no, we ain't got no damn sperm. Like, no. And we can't get it because we don't know how much it costs. So no. So she said it looked really, really good. So we're like, okay, great. So then they have me do blood work. You guys, if you are gonna go through this process and don't like needles, figure something out. Because you get blood work every single time. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna pee in a cup, they're gonna ask you for blood. They take the, they take blood for the smallest things. They just wanna check your blood, check your blood, check your blood. So um, you guys get prepared for that if you're gonna go through this process because you get blood every single time. And it's normally not one vial, like the little things they take blood from, it's like three or four. So from my blood work, they found I was vitamin D deficient. So I had to be put on 5,000 IU a vitamin D supplement and then I was also told to start taking prenatal vitamins with um, DHA in it so that's what I started so I take two supplements a day and then um, this process mind you guys started back in September so I've been taking my supplements since September so you want to take it before you even do the insemination just to get your body kind of in that realm of you know producing these type of hormones that you need for the insemination. So then next, you go into your financial appointment with your financial advisor, and she gives you a breakdown of costs. At this point, they've run your um, health insurance, so they can tell you exactly how much it costs. So for us, we opted not to do the genetic screening. Um, it just basically tests for like any special um, special needs that you may carry, like the tray. Um, you know, autism, um, ADHD, Down syndrome, um, because I'm African American, sickle cell, just any diseases that you may carry in your family, genetic wise, they test for. We weren't going to pay $350 for it because it's not that deep for us. Um, because if I would have been with a guy, I wouldn't have had that option anyway. So we opted not to do it. Um, our HSG test was $195, is what they told us. Um, but I will go into that story later. Um, our IUI insemination, the actual procedure was 300 um, because we ordered sperm from a sperm bank. So it be, it came prepped and, prepped and washed is what they call it. So basically it's frozen, they just unthaw it and they put it in my cervix. So it was ready to go. And then every time we see the doctor, it was $25, except blood work was covered. So if there was times where I just had to go in and get blood work that was covered hundred percent. Thank you God, because they take so much of it. Um, or if we're seen by a nurse practitioner at some point, we did not see our doctor that was covered um, as well. But normally we paid every $25 every time we went. So $25 adds up like, before you know it, $100 is at your pocket so quick. Um, okay, so after that, they ask you, are you sure you want to go with IUI or do you want to go through IVF? 
and we were like hell no we ain't going through IVF right now we ain't got the money we're gonna try IUI so that is where our journey started after that that whole day it's like a three or four hour appointment it's super super long you walk out of there like what the hell did I get myself into um because it's only the beginning so you guys stay tuned for um video number two next video i'm going to be talking about the procedure that i had to have um which is called the hsg i don't have the like medical name for that procedure um like the cause and things like that so you guys are going to want to stay tuned for video number two so that you can see what i went through you guys have a great night see you later